back here and I'll show you what we're going to do. Okay, half inch wrench. Yeah, you're lucky you didn't come earlier. We had a downpour. <laughs> I mean, it came down in buckets. What was that, what, in the middle of the night? Or this morning? Yeah, this morning. That's why it's all, everything's wet. Holy moly, you have a lot of liquor. Yeah, it ain't hard. <laughs> I had to scramble to move those two chairs out of the army. Yeah, what's well, uh, up? We're going to take off. Okay, it's 916. We're going to have to loosen these two bowls. Okay. I'm going to bring two wrenches out. We're going to open this up and clean that at the same time. But let me get situated here. Okay. So you can record it. Let's get this out of our way. Hose. This is for the old pool system. I use it, I just keep it in case you ever need a backup and you have to manually clean the pool. I got it. But, yeah. but you never use it. Yeah, there's <laughs> the hoses aren't cheap. Okay, half inch. Bike. Mike. Well, what we're going to do is I'm going to back flush it to show you how to back flush it, and then we're going to take it apart. Okay. So we're going to put most of the herb into the street. So when I do that, keep a break right here. Let's go to see. <clears throat> shoots out and kicks it back this way. Okay. So it doesn't go on the street. Okay. flush the system like this you want to make sure you have enough water in your pool okay so you want to make sure you're good because you are going to lose some water when you do this first thing we're going to do is we're going to just start it to get the system going and then we're going to divert the valve to back flush so you want to just start it first it's going to burp some air out it always does Always does that in the morning, don't freak out on it. Okay. It's, it's just purging the air that's in the system overnight. You see you've got water going through it. See, we're almost there. It's a good time to change it. Work it a little bit more. Water, you know you're good. Close that off. Okay, now we're gonna back wash it. So I take this thing, the drain thing off. It's gonna come out pretty fast. Shut it off. Now we're gonna press it down and we're gonna spin this to over here where it says backwash. It says backwash right there. Press down, put that back up. Now when you turn it, it's going to all shoot through here, take the earth out of here, and discharge it. 
And you want to usually run it no longer than like a minute and a half. You'll see how dirty it's going to get. You'll see how dirty this is going to get. Now it's starting to come. Oh, wow. See how black that is? Yep. So this takes a lot of the work out once we break it open. Mm. Then you're not dealing with all this earth. You're still going to have some earth in it, but not a problem. Spin it back to filter. Now there is a rinse right here. If you want to rinse it, you can put it to rinse. Mm -hmm. Run that for about 20 seconds. Is this your normal process? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> filter, run it again, you won't get no more water, now it's just recycled. So, the deal is, once you're back on filter, mm -hmm. you want to get the earth back in. You don't want to run the filter a long time without earth in it. Okay. Okay, so now we're going to break it down. First, I'm going to show you how to clean this. pressure and that's it pops right open this traps all your uh, pine needles everything else see oh wow Beautiful. take this to the trash can Sorry. this is excessively full because of the high winds and the little monsoons we had it blew all the needles in mm -hmm, mm -hmm. normally not this bad you usually want to check it every two weeks. You don't have to clean the filter to, to inspect this and clean it. Okay. You can open that up anytime. And you said trash day is Fridays. Yeah. Okay. And you rinse this back off. See, you hear how it's sucking? It's sucking water down. So what you want to do is put this thing it up first. this back in. Now that gasket I showed you in the garage, mm -hmm. that's an extra gasket for this. Okay. Okay. Does that have to be uh, Vaseline down? No. So what I'm going to do is I, I got a pool lube I'm going to leave it too. Oh, pool lube. It's just like a Vaseline. It's for the O-rings. Okay.
Oh, I forgot I need one screwdriver. Oh. This is to open the drain on the filter. Okay. You do this every time. Yep. Sometimes I'll clean this two, two, two times a month. You know, every two, every other week. If I think it needs it, because you can physically see in there to see if it's done. Mm. Now, once that's done, now you have to fill it back up with water. Because otherwise, it's going to suck up too much air. So you have this handy. Mm -hmm. This is off. And just. It's not going to matter because I'm going to drain the whole system, but I like to keep this full. Uh, once it's as high as it's going to go, because it's just going to filter back in the pool, and just seal it up. And then just close it, just hand tight. That's it, you're done with that. Okay, now we're going to open this up right there. First, you breathe it. All the air out. Should it be deep? Air should be out anyway once you pop out. So this is how it goes. Okay. It goes washer, mm -hmm. spring. Mm -hmm. And then the nut goes through it with another washer. Okay. Okay, then that just screws in right onto this. Okay. You really only need to take one side off. Okay. I'm going to slip this off and show you. This just pops right off. And that's it. Both your bands just lift off. Okay. Oh, nice. Get a little rinse here. Clean this up. Take your screwdriver and it pops, it usually just pops right off. You just get in between the two right here and just give it a little pressure. Two sides. It should just pop right off. So you want to take this kind of over here and rinse it out. Do that at the very end. Okay. Now this is what's left of the earth that's in there. Okay, so now we're going to pull the drain plug on the back side. So look back here. You're going to have to more feel it than, than look at it. Okay. Right back here, you can feel a little, there's a nut in here. It's plastic and it's got a slot through it. So what you do is you take the screwdriver, you line up the slot, right here and then just lift up on a quarter turn and get it loose and then once you get it loose enough you can do it by hand Why, why does that need to be loosened? Because this is the drain, because you want to flush this whole thing. Got it. You want to get all this old dirt out. We're going to be pulling all these filters out. That's what we're going to do. It's a little bit of a bear, but you can just be patient with it. It'll come out. It's just... There it goes. Just 
Let it rip. Okay, this is all it is. You want to just get the screwdriver in between that. But see, you're restricted. You can only go so far. Right. And you got to get on the other end and do it the other way. Right. Once it's gone, you're good to go. And then obviously everything goes into the drain. Oh boy. Okay. I see why you have a cover for that now. Mm -hmm. I see why you have a cover for that now. Mm -hmm. That way you keep all the crap out of it. You can just pull some of these leaves away. And just keep draining. The thing is, I try not to. I forgot to tell my gardener last week. I used to keep these bougainvillea chopped flush because mm -hmm. you don't really want these leaves in the pool. It'll stain it, mm. and you can see they're a mess. And I forgot to tell him last week. Otherwise, he usually does it for me. Mm. Okay, let's settle down. We're gonna add more water here in a minute. We're gonna flush all this. So you just want to come back here. You get your gasket out of your way. We're gonna lube this up again. Okay. Clean that all up. These things are white, just to let you know. Okay. <laughs> wow. It's just a real simple puzzle. Mike, the method that you're showing me today. Is that the thorough method? That's the method that some guy's going to charge you $100 to come do it. Gotcha. <laughs> you will come out, you need $75 or $100, they'll come out and clean the door. Okay, that's the method. Now we're going to go back and do it again. Okay, you got one time, watch them. Okay, thank you. That's all I need. Wow. Well, when I had the original filter, because I increased the size of this filter, I changed it out when I put the new motor in, when I did the pool, when I first did the pool. Mm -hmm. So I made this a huge filter so I wouldn't have to deal with it so much. Mm. I put a bigger pump on it. I mean, you can do this right here without taking everything apart. And you just spend a good amount of time and go in between each one of these filters, like mm -hmm. I'm doing right now. Mm -hmm. And trying to get all that black stuff off. And you can do it. Is that what you meant by the, uh, the quick and dirty way? Now, what I'm going to do is I like to get most of this off. And we're going to tear it apart. I'm going to show you how to tear it apart. Okay. We can do that right now. I'm still not familiar with uh, this earth that you're talking about. The what? This earth that the you're... The earth? Diamond taste earth? I'll yeah. show it to you. It's, 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 you just buy it a box. Okay. It's just what you have to mix in. I'm, like I said, I'll show you the whole process. It's uh, You just make a slurry out of it and you pour it in a filter. So once you loosen this, this whole rod's going to come out. It's a really thin washer. Okay, so washer's off. Now we're going to slowly lift this off. Okay. It's going to separate right in here. And you can see you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And it's telling you right here, it says short element here. You have one short element. The rest are all the same size. Okay. Of this. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now we'll flush this. Now we're going to take these out. 
These just lift out, start anywhere. See how see the earth still sticks in there? That's why you really want to do a thorough job by pulling them off. And this is a good way to check and see if you have any leaks in it. You'll notice if you'll have a bad filter element, if you start seeing material going back into the pool. Mm -hmm. And then you just have to figure out which filter is bad. Okay. But these are all new filters, so I know you're good. How often do you replace them? Just whenever they go bad? Well, like I said, this is, saves you a lot of money. That's why I'd rather show you. Mm -hmm. See how this is a short one? Mm -hmm. See how wide these are? And this is the only short one. See? Oh, I see. Okay. So now that you have that opened up and everything's out, and they can do 100% cleanup on it. Get all that bad stuff out of there. See, that's pretty much clean as you can get it. Mm -hmm. Okay, now we just hose these babies off. See the little slots right here? This is where they go in. Okay. Just kind of put it right in between those two and see, that's that's where it goes. That's a short one. It won't let you go any further, you know. Mm -hmm. It might be off maybe a quarter inch or a half inch, but then once you put the top on, you just adjust it. Okay. After this, you'll be good the whole summer. You don't want to have to worry. With the vacuum system the way it is, you, uh, you usually don't have to vacuum your pool whatsoever. You have to brush it once a week. You, know. you got to check your filter every day. As far as your intake, you know, you want to check that. You want to make sure nothing's holding up the, the, the filter itself. Okay. And then I'm going to show you how to tear apart the skimmer. Because it just it's going to clog up every now and then with pine needles. And okay. It'll stop. And when you see it stop, then you know it's clogged with pine needles. <laughs> so it's real simple to fix. You just unscrew it, take it apart, and then the uh, just remove the pine needles and put it right back together. And you do want them close. You know they're they're going to be close once you get them all in there. Hmm.
I can see this part's a little tricky. There it is. It's these two They say back flushing, you know, you just you really get a half ass clean out of it. I see. You really have to do this, otherwise you'll never get you saw that I already back flushed and that's how much dirt still remains in the first hmm. you, know, you really want to do it this way. And it'll last you a lot longer. I see. Yeah. This is the right way to do it, that's why they can tell you you can go three months without having to deal with it. Hmm. What really uh, rips these hmm? these bags? This is a nylon mesh, and like I said, if one of these tears by any reason, mm -hmm. then then you'll start seeing particles coming through your filter through the pool. So and that'll let you know that something's ripped. Okay. So you just go to any Leslie's, any pool supply filter. What you do is you just take. All the information on the heater, this as a matter of fact, I bought this from Leslie's. It's all on the side of the, the, uh, the filter, I mean. Okay. It's all on the side, so any information for whatever you need, it's right there. 